All right, here's a very interesting path that I'm gonna to try to fly. And the way that I've done my waypoint navigation uh, algorithm is very, very interesting, I think. So what's gonna happen here is I've got a parameter here called lead distance. The lead distance determines how far in front of the vehicle the asterisk goes. So there's the asterisk, and that's the target point that it's shooting for. That lead distance determines how far it looks ahead, which determines how the vehicle reacts as it touches these various points on the path. Is it going to round the corner? Is it gonna look ahead and completely miss the corner? Or is it gonna to try to fly it? So the shorter the lead distance, the more it tries to stay on the, on the actual path. The longer the lead distance, the more it rounds the corners and softens the path, softens the corners and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my physics-based flight controller here with a commanded velocity of two meters per second and a lead distance of only 1.5 meters. And you're gonna see that the vehicle follows the path pretty stinking closely. It's gonna round that corner there, see, see how, that lead, uh, how that lead point works when you get to the corners? Boom, it just tracks the path around and helps the vehicle look, in a, look ahead essentially to know where it's going to go. So again, small lead angle, or small lead distance, I mean, and low speed. So it's able to track that path very nicely. So let me go ahead and show, you're gonna see these corners coming up. Let me show what it actually looks like in person. All right, again, this is using the physics-based flight controller. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So let's go from a command of two to a command of three. Again, lead, lead distance of only 1.5 meters. Now watch, the vehicle is gonna drift out more. It's gonna come closer to my head also. It's not gonna follow the path quite as closely. And you're gonna see that it might be advantageous to soften the corners by increasing the lead distance so the vehicle looks ahead even farther and doesn't make as many harsh and abrupt changes like this. Let me show this corner right here, this is interesting. Boom, right away from where I'm sitting here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, increase it to four. If it can't handle this, I'm gonna have to turn it off by deactivating that physics-based flight controller right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter now to activate that, that new command, there it is. If anything funky happens, I'm clicking that button. You see, now the vehicle's really struggling to get all those points. So again, it might be advantageous to soften those corners quite a bit. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna go ahead and show this just a little bit longer. Again, that blue arrow is the tilt direction and uh, magnitude. So here we go. In person, boom. Trying to hit all those points on that path at a higher velocity is harder. So you notice the vehicle has to make a lot of abrupt changes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to soften the corners. So to soften the corners, I change the lead distance here from 1.5 to 2.5 meters. When I hit enter, watch that asterisk on the path. I'm going to hide the path so you can see the asterisk better. Oh, it already did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> When I click the way, it does it automatically. So let me go ahead and put it back to 1.5 and you'll see it come closer. Now when I go to 2.5 and hit enter, you'll see it jump away a little bit. So let's get, let the vehicle catch up. There it is, and there it is. You saw it do a little jump. Anyway, the point is, now it's 2.5. So you're gonna see the vehicle soften the corners a little bit. So that 
lead point jumps ahead. It just tracks that path staying ahead at a perpendicular distance uh, propagated down the path at a distance of whatever I command, which is in this case 2.5 meters. Now I'm going to go ahead and change that to uh, 3.5. Enter. And it's going to soften those corners a lot more. Notice that point 10, it didn't even attempt to hit point 10 because it skipped all around 7, 8, 9, and 10 since it's propagating so far forward. Right there, propagated uh, straight from 6 to between 8 and 9. So, let's say you have a user who makes a really dumb path with lots of points the vehicle can't track. You have the ability to soften that by increasing the lead distance to prevent the vehicle from having an accident, crashing into the wall, exceeding its limitations, whatever. Let's show what this looks like here now. So notice it's much less abrupt. Instead of making multiple turns there, at that bottom, it simply flies straight through. Right there, it used to have to jerk really hard. Now it's not doing nearly so hard. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can speed it up. This room, the path is kind of large to speed it up much. Let's go to five. It looks like it's going to get close to that wall, too close. I'm going to go ahead and click this button, which will put it back to PID mode, make it a little bit safer. Yeah, it looks pretty safe. So, let's follow it around. Much less abrupt, completely smoothing those corners on that commanded path. And that's the advantage of uh, what I call the look-ahead navigation technique. Here's some of the parameters coming out. It makes me nervous when I hear that buzz by my head, but anyway, there's some of the parameters. So, now I'm going to go ahead and try to drop this down to 2.5. This is going to make it try to hit the corners more now, which is potentially going to exceed the vehicle's limitations because it's also being commanded to fly very fast. And it made me nervous, so I went ahead and went back to PID feedback mode, which is uh, going to stop trying to fly so fast. <laughs> it did some crazy stuff there, so let's go ahead and put it back. The physics mode, here it comes. And it is it's actually okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and watch it. It's making me nervous. Yeah, it's making it. So anyway, I increased the speed, or the commanded speed, to 5 meters per second. Holy cow. And I, uh, decrease the lead distance. So let's watch that. Decreasing the lead distance again causes it to try to hit those points. Alright, that means the battery's low. So I go ahead and bring it home and tell it to land. And there you have it. <sighs> Made me a little nervous, but um, I'm very excited about this, very impressed with the vehicle's capabilities. And I'm really excited about this whole navigation technique here with the look ahead and the physics-based um, flight controller that I've been able to implement. So 
I need some more work, but uh, this is about as far as I'm going to be able to get for now. Uh, and due to time limitations, it's time for me to move on to other projects and things. So, anyway, there you have it.